Decide whether the points in the table lie on a line. If they do, find the slope intercept form of the line. So let's take this one here first. I look at the x values and I see that they're incrementing by 1. Delta x equals 1. Steady. So I notice that. Then I check the y's. These are dropping by 3. These are increasing by 4. So already it's not st a steady delta x for the delta I'm sorry, it's not the steady delta y for a uh, steady delta x. And then from 4 to 6 is 2, 6 to 8 is 2, but 0 to 4 is 4 while the x's are steady. So there's no constant delta y to delta x slope for the line. So it's not a line. And we can see that by graphing these points. Negative 2, negative 3 would be right here. Negative 1, 0 is here. 0, 4 is there. 1, 6 is here. And 2, 8 is up there. So it goes like this, and then it goes like that. So it's not a line. It's, it's not a smooth line. So we don't have to get the equation because it's not a line. Uh, over on this one, I see a steady delta x of positive 2, negative 2 to 0, 0 to 2, 2 to 4. So I'm looking for a steady increment of y now. 5 goes down to 0, negative 5. 0 goes down to negative 5. A negative 5 increment and negative 5 goes down to negative 10. So, so the slope here of this one is delta y over delta x equals negative 5 is dropping 5 in the y's every time over delta x it's rising 2. So the slope is negative 5 halves. And now we have to get the slope intercept form. And we're lucky because we have a 0 for x. And we know what the y is there. So we have the y intercept is 0, 0, y-intercept point. So the y equals mx plus b is the slope-intercept form. So that's negative 5 halves x plus 0, which is just means that it's y equals negative 5 halves x. So that is the equation of the line. Now let's plot these points and see if they agree with that. Negative 2, 5 is this point right here. 0, 0 is this point. 2, negative 5 comes down to here. 4, negative 10 comes down to here. And I think we can see and we have our line here through the all the points. It definitely looks like a straight line. And the equation is supposed to be negative 5 halves x. So uh, that definitely fits all these points. For example, when x is equal to 2, we see that y is equal to negative 5 halves times 2, which is equal to negative 5 and that's this point right here that's exactly what it's supposed to be so this equation is working and the points from the table do form a line